Who's up? Brian, how are you looking forward to the start of the real business? Uh, very much so. We're, uh, we've done a lot of uh, work in the last uh, six or eight weeks and it's all been preparation for this unique sort of uh, competition. It's a sudden death sort of feel to it, so we want to get off to a great start this weekend and it's not going to be easy because uh, we're, we're figuring our opponents are going to be pretty much the same. Do you feel in good shape for it? You've had sort of seven games, you've looked at the squad and had a chance to, to try various things. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know, I was encouraged by our last match at Huddersfield and uh, certainly on watching it af after the game on video, you know, I was probably even more impressed with um, some of the stuff our guys did. Still had some moments where we were we were a bit below par, and you know, one of the, the factors there that, that really hurt us was our inability to control Danny Bruff and his kicking. And uh, we're going to do the some of the same stuff again this week with with both Dobson uh, and Rangi Chase. And their kicking games that will be a vital factor, I think, in this this game. Is it almost like starting again? Matty was saying where everyone's on a, a level playing field now. Yeah, I think so. And you know, it's it is you know it, it truly is unique. I don't think this uh, system of of uh, playoffs has has ever been utilised before. So it'll be interesting to see just how everybody approaches it. But I, you know, I certainly feel like. We're on an equal basis to everybody else, whether they're seemingly above us or below us. We, I think we're we're all fresh and ready to go. And Wakefield, in particular, with a bit of a new look, with with some new players in our squad at the back end of this period of preparation for us. You know, we feel like we're um, really well set to start again. I think it's 10, 10 or eleven players that have been brought in. You're confident the squad is stronger now than as a squad. Yeah, I think, I think so. I think uh, just the experience that we brought into our team and and uh, I think there's a confidence factor that comes around having guys like, um, like Lee Smith and Jordan Tansey and uh, Scott Moore in particular. Those guys have all, you know, they've got a lot of games under their belt at, at, um, at good clubs, at strong clubs uh, and uh, you know that ex personal experience that they've had in this sort of football will help us. How are you looking like selection-wise this week, Brown? Have you got some good headaches going into the game? Yeah, I think there's, you know, there's 20, 24, 25 players in our group that are legitimate contenders for selection at the moment. So you know, we're still missing a, f a few with uh, Kevin Locke and and uh, Danny Kerman, and uh, we lost uh, Stu Howth with a, a long-term wrist injury that he'd had. He, in the end, we elected for him to take the surgery because he, he just wasn't able to perform at his best. So, you know, that's a bit disappointing to, to not have those guys there, but we know where we're at with them. And uh, and I think, as I say, we've got 20 plus players that, that are genuine contenders for selection over the next seven weeks. So we've got, a, I think, a good balance about us and a good feeling of confidence. And, and that's largely based on the introduction of some experience and confident people are, all those guys are, are uh, you know, they, they know their way around the, the field and, and they know how to win. Is that Stu gone for the season then, presumably? Yes, yes. He, he'll miss about three months with that. It's a serious wrist injury. Uh, how's Kevin, is he, still, is he still rehabbing the injury and hoping it will... He is, yeah, and he's come on quite a ways. But it's, it's one of those injuries where in you know, approximately three to four weeks he'll know whether he needs uh, to have the, the op or whether there's a chance that he can get through. You'll have had a few battles with Tim Shoes down the years. <laughs> I know he's not directly involved with Solvers coaching setup here, but has there been one quite as important as this maybe in terms of the significance of, of what, what it could have on the rest of the season? Oh, yeah, we've had some epic clashes over the years. Um, never on a personal uh, basis. I mean, our teams have had <laughs> clashes. Sheens is a bit big for me. He's an old front rower. But... Um, yeah, no, I have tremendous respect for uh, the, the role Tim's played in the development of our game. Uh, thankfully, here as well now, as, uh, he's done a, you know, been a, at the forefront of coaching and the development of our sport in Australia uh, at the very highest level and the clubs that he's been at have all been 
know better for his uh, appearance and and his expertise that he's he's offered. So you know he's still got uh, plenty to offer. I'm sure he'll be doing a great job for Salford. How confident are you that he'll be able to get some game time out of Simon Griggs before the end of the season? I know it's it's, it's up in the air, isn't it, with his because he's a, a long term recovery, but yeah, almost none, mate. Okay. There's, there's n almost no chance of of that happening. So I'm not. You know, I think there's a fairly large story in that. Uh, that really is it working off of just a little grain of uh, of hope, um, and I, I think uh, that you know there may be something in that for the very long term, but certainly not in the short term. Great, thanks, Rob. Thank you very much.